welcome back or welcome if you are new here. It is the end of January, so I am posting my January bullet journal setup. Um, I am recording this voiceover on January 31st, and this video is hopefully going to be posted tomorrow, February 1st, so pretty late, but it, better late than never, or better started than perfect, better good than perfect, whatever the phrase is. Um, uh, and I can tell you from my perspective here at the end of January that I really enjoyed the setup that I put together for myself, which is uh, a Aurora Borealis, or from my hemisphere perspective, the Northern Lights. This is a theme that I have been interested in doing for quite some time. And I am really pleased with what I accomplished. I, I did take a lot of inspiration from the woman herself, Amanda Rachel Lee. I don't remember what, when she did a Northern Lights theme, but she did do one. Uh, and instead of doing watercolor on a separate sheet of paper, I, as you can see, went straight into the bullet journal to paint on the paper. I'm really impressed with how uh, the notebook therapy paper handled the, the paint and the water. I did try and go light on the water. I'm really not good at that, but I made the attempt and it turned out pretty well. There is some warping of the paint, which doesn't bother me at all, uh, but just a, a thing to be aware of. And in case you couldn't tell, this is a cover page. Um, I Something I'm trying in 2021 is cover pages. I have been really enjoying color pages in other folks' bullet journals. I'm really liking the idea of sort of setting the tone for the month, doing something a little bit creative at the beginning of the month. Uh, I have not done cover pages since I very, very first started bullet journaling in 2018, long before I was even recording my setups. When I first started out, I did cover pages because that was what everybody else did and they did not work for me. I got no use out of them. They just wasted my time and I stopped. But I'm, I'm feeling it now. And I have now done January and February and I'm really liking it. it, it it's helpful to have that creative space to set the tone for the month and have this little like, I guess, marker of where the month begins. So we shall see how it goes. Here, again, something incredibly rare on my channel. I am actually sketching something. I'm just sketching out the lettering for January, but I never do that on camera, ever. I always have everything pre-drawn, or I just go for it and don't. I don't work in pencil on camera. I don't know why. It's just, it's just a thing that I'm not comfortable doing, but I did it here. So enjoy that for what it is worth, I guess. <laughs> um, I kept my layouts pretty simple for January, focusing very much on highlighting the colors that I went with. This nice light blue, uh, a little bit of darker blue, some purple, some green, and uh, really pretty that the like orchid pink color. I love the way that it blended together. Doing a little bit of a gradient in small bubble letters, subtle bubble letters. I don't know what you want to call that. But uh, yeah, working out really well. Uh, 2021 thus far for me has not been, I don't know, I'm tempted to say it hasn't been super busy. It has been, but it hasn't been. It's weird. Busy life is very strange in a pandemic world. So that's just, that's just where I am with it, I guess. Uh, the section up there on the right is a place to jot down my goals. January was a really tough month for me, so I didn't make a lot of progress on my goals. Here you can see the one of the inspirations for this is a little Alaska stamp sticker that's from Sticky. As always, all of the supplies that I have used will be linked in the description. Uh, you can go and check it out. Go check out uh, Sticky Club. I absolutely love them. Not sponsored at all. I've just gotten a couple of their subscription packs and I adore them and I guess we'll just take any opportunity to talk about them. Anyway, what I was talking about. January was a hard month for me. 
So I didn't make a lot of progress on my goals so far, except to say that I have focused very heavily on self-care and you know doing what I need to do to continue functioning. Like mm -hmm. say, posting my bullet journal videos a month late because I'd rather post them than give up on it but I can't I can't get it together to post early. You can probably hear that. That's my kid redecorating the dining room. You having fun? Good. Um, this right here in the center of my two-page spread is my mood tracker. I did what is basically like a ribbon kind of a thing and then divided it up, ooh, what is that, vertically into stripes that get colored in throughout the month with the mood of that day. Then underneath that is a small habit tracker. The habit, the habit tracker actually did pretty well with, and the habit tracker is designed to incorporate my yearly goals. One second, sweetheart. And then finally over on the far right is my gratitude log, which not awesome, but not bad. I'm making progress. And that is a core goal for my mental health goals in 2021 is to really prioritize doing that gratitude every single month, every day as I can, but keeping at it, keeping at it. And then moving into the last couple of spreads, Another new thing that I am trying in 2021 is monthly reviews. So doing a little mini wrap up of how my month was, similar to my quarterly goals check-ins. So I've got space to note down the accomplishments from the month, any challenges that I experienced, my favorite or best memories, and then thoughts, reminders, any anything that I want to take into the next month. I haven't done, like I've filled a couple of things in, but I haven't really sat down to think about these sections yet. I'm probably going to do that today or tomorrow, but I, I like the idea of taking an intentional approach and uh, using this as a way to stay on track with my goals, but also adjust my goals as I need to. And then the watercolor page that I'm putting in is, of course, the memory tracking page where at the end of the month, I will paste in some pictures of my kid. So I'm leaving this pretty open. Once I get the pictures pasted in at the end of the month, let's be realistic, it'll be mid-February by the time I get those pasted in. Um, I'll probably like dot in some stars with a white paint pen or maybe some trees with a futonosuke i don't know whatever seems to fit maybe nothing maybe it'll just be cute pictures i don't know the reason that i am doing a combination of the watercolors and a uh, water-based brush pen i don't have a pink that is even remotely like this color. Uh, those pens are linked in the description. It was a, a gift from a friend, but I, I really, really liked the pink and I didn't have anything in my watercolor set that looked remotely like it or that I thought I could create. So that's why we're getting a, a blended combination of, of things there. Please enjoy my hair, which I guess I can't ever keep out of frame when I'm trying to do bullet journal videos. Ah, oh, hi, hi hair. It's looking pretty good. I like the color. I, I like the color. I, that's pretty much all I've got to say about that. Uh, I didn't end up recording setting up my first space for dailies or weeklies. Um, I don't remember if I edited it out. You might get a little, little snippet of it. It's just a couple of pieces of washi tape to divide up the page and that's it. I'm, yeah, there you go. I'm keeping things really, really simple. That's my main goal. And here we are at the final flip through of January. Like I said, late, but it's here. I've really enjoyed this month. 2021 was of course going to be an interesting year. You can see how the mood tracker starts to work as it's been a couple of days since I started filming when I finally did 
this final flip through. It's a uh, recording is a mess, but you know what? Whatever, it's fine. That's everything for January. I hope that you have enjoyed. Stay tuned for my February bullet journal setup, which will be at the beginning of February in a couple of days. And I will talk to you all later. Have a good one.